So even though I absolutely hate to admit this, Joe Biden is the front runner. That is just a fact of reality. Um, he has more pledged delegates currently. He is projected to do very well in upcoming states. And there's nothing I can do to change that reality except continue to advocate for Bernie Sanders in hopes that something major happens and Joe Biden has a terrible debate performance and Bernie can somehow rebound and I'm going to vote for him in Oregon. But I mean, currently as it stands now, at the time I record this video, Joe Biden's the front runner and that sucks, but it is what it is. Um, so you think that being the front runner, Joe Biden would now start to turn his focus onto uniting both warring wings of the party because he says, you know, we're going to unite and we're going to win, right? So now he has a really important mission, something that Hillary Clinton had and she botched. Now he has to turn to Sanders supporters and say, I welcome you with open arms. Here's XYZ policy concessions that I am willing to offer you because you represent 40 to 50% of the party. Except rather than doing that, he's looking to Bernie Sanders supporters and giving them the finger. Why? Because he just said in an interview with Lawrence O'Donnell on MSNBC that in the event a Democratic-controlled House and Senate pass Medicare for All, something that would be a historic legislative achievement, he would veto it. He said that. Take a look. Candidates, this kind of question, veto question. Let's flash forward. Your president, Bernie Sanders, is still active in the Senate. He manages to get Medicare for all through the Senate in some compromised version, the Elizabeth Warren version or, or other version. Nancy Pelosi gets a version of it through the House of Representatives. It comes to your desk. Do you veto it? I would veto anything that delays providing the security and the certainty of health care being available now. If they got that through and by some miracle, and there was an epiphany that occurred, and some miracle occurred that said, okay, it's passed, then you got to look at the cost. I want to know, how did they find the $35 trillion? What is that doing? Is it going to significantly raise taxes on the middle class, which it will? What's going to happen? Uh, look, my opposition isn't to the principle that there should be, you should have Medicare. I mean, I, everybody, mm -hmm. health care should be a right in America. My opposition relates to whether or not, A, it's doable, to what the cost is and what the consequences for the rest of the budget are. How are you going to find $35 trillion over the next 10 years without having pr profound impacts on everything from taxes for middle class and working class people, as well as, as well as the impact on the rest of the budget? Yeah, that is uh, that's something, right? Because throughout the course of this primary, Joe Biden has said a lot of things that made all of us scratch our heads at some point in time. But that's not what you're supposed to say right now. Like you're supposed to pay lip service to the idea of Medicare for all and say, look, I think it's a great idea. I don't support it currently, but I mean, if it passes, well, I'll think about it. What you're supposed to say now is everything in your power to win over Bernie Sanders supporters. We won't believe you, but you still should say it. Maybe some will believe you, but I mean like to say this, to just say, I'm going to veto Medicare for all. That's telling you what a terrible human being Joe Biden is. And I want you to understand why he's saying it. It's not because he has any underlying you know, political principles or he truly believes in neoliberalism and a market-based approach to healthcare reform. This is all about his corporate donors. Like when he entered the race, there were articles that explained why the health industry was betting on Joe Biden to save their asses from all of the momentum that we see from Medicare for All. And after he had his Super Tuesday blowout, health stocks jumped. So you've got to understand, this is bad politics, but he doesn't care. He's made it very clear he is going to represent the donor class. And there's nothing that voters can say or do to get him to truly care about them. So a Yale study just showed that 68,000 people per year die due to a lack of health insurance. And that's actually a conservative estimate because it doesn't take into account people who die because they're underinsured, short, meaning that they have insurance, but they can't use it because it's too expensive and they can't afford the deductible or they have insurance and you know it doesn't cover a particular procedure that they need. Joe Biden is basically admitting here, I know that that bill 
would save 68,000 lives, but I'd still veto it. Fuck all of those lives. They don't mean anything to me. Healthcare profits are what I am concerned with. And like we're talking about a hypothetical situation, right? You don't even need to agitate and further demoralize the base who in every state supports Medicare for all, but still voted for you against their own self-interest because they think you're more electable. Like you don't even have to say this, but he's still saying it regardless because he's just a bad person and he can't help himself. He can't help himself. How many times throughout the course of his career has he done things to hurt people? He opposed busing. He was functionally a segregationist. He passed the crime bill and boasted about it all the way up until this election cycle. How many black and brown people were locked in jail because of Joe Biden? How many of us can't refinance our student debt because of Joe Biden? And if he's president, how many people will die if the Democratic Party in some major victory comes together and passes Medicare for all, but then he vetoes it? I mean, this is a horrible, horrible human being. And I don't know what to say about this. The Democratic Party is so lost, and I don't think they could ever realize just how much damage they're doing long term to their brand. These last two election cycles have been a disaster, and we all laughed at Hillary Clinton's attempt to reach out to millennials, right? Pokemon go to the polls. She kind of adopted uh, Bernie Sanders' free college plan, although it was means tested, and, um, you know, she never talked about it. But there was at least a little bit of an attempt. She tried. Joe Biden is now just saying, don't want you in my coalition. Okay. Okay. Beta male, not a beta male.